Hey guys, Pete here. Today I'm gonna to do a follow-up to my Dark Season 3 official trailer breakdown from a couple of days ago. There were some things I wanted to clarify from that, and we also got a bunch of new official promo photos yesterday that I wanna talk about. This video will contain spoilers from everything that's happened in the first two seasons of Dark and everything that is out there on the internet. If you're spoiler sensitive, this video probably isn't for you, but at the same time, I haven't seen anything that gives away the central mysteries yet. From what I've seen on Reddit, there are reviews from journalists that have seen the entire season starting to show up. I haven't done a deep dive into those yet, but I will after I finish this video because I've learned from having a channel that if there's information out there, someone will post it in the comments on my videos. And if I'm going to be spoiled, I want to do it from the source. So you may want to use caution when reading through the comments. And with that, let's jump into it. First things first, in my trailer breakdown, I missed that there were multiple older women's voices in the voiceover. Several native German speakers pointed out in the comments that one of those voices was older Claudia. The trailer inside the Netflix client has different subtitles where those voices are marked as woman one through four. This is who I think they are. Woman one says everything repeats itself because no one of us is ready to let go. Later she says, I want that your journey finally finds an end, and even later, and so everything starts from the beginning. This is almost certainly Eve, since we first hear this voice in the room that looks like it's her lair, and later while she's standing in front of the painting with the trio. Woman number two only has one line where she says, I finally want to know the truth. I've read that this is probably the actress that plays stranger-aged Alt Marta, and that sounds like a good guess to me. Skipping to woman four, she's the one who says, a world without you, isn't that what you wanted? And this is who they're saying is older Claudia speaking. It makes sense, but we don't know where the voiceover is coming from since we don't see her in the trailer. Woman three delivers the line, the apocalypse in your world is also happening in ours. I thought this sounded familiar and thought it might be Charlotte. Apparently though, it's Katerina, and there's a lot of stuff related to her I wanna talk about. While I was working on my trailer video, this post showed up on Reddit. It makes a good case that Katarina is the person getting bludgeoned in this scene based on the clothing. What's wild about that is the working assumption is that this character is Helene Albert, who is Katarina's own mother. I talked about this theory in my The End is the Beginning video, so I won't go into it again here, but man, that's crazy that she's likely going to be killed by her mother. Yesterday, Dark opened six new official Instagram accounts, five related to the time periods we've already seen in the show, and one related to the alt world in 2019. They're all interesting, and you should check them out individually. And there's even some new photos from the upcoming season mixed in there. In one of those, we get a look at Katarina in 1986 inside the high school. We see teenage Hannah in the hallway near her, and that Katarina is carrying a missing poster with Mikkel on it. This is somewhat confusing. The poster says Conwald instead of Nielsen, indicating that Mikkel has time traveled and has been taken in by Ines. It has the same photo that she gave to Aegon, which he later showed Ulrich. To this point, we haven't heard anything about Mikkel going missing after being adopted, but everything else seems consistent with the prime world. Young Hannah and the hallway look the same, and for me, this is all confirmation that she's in Prime Vinden. What's going on with the missing poster is a mystery at this point. This photo was actually taken down from the Instagram account, and I'm wondering if the information on the posters has something to do with that. A popular theory has been that Katarina would travel to the alt world because of the lights we see around her during the apocalypse while she's opening the door in the passage. There are posts out there saying this photo is evidence of that, but I don't see it. In the alt world, this scene that I wasn't sure about in the room that was Michael's studio turned out to be Alt Mikkel and Alt Katarina. Kind of fitting that his bedroom is in that room. It was a mystery whether an Alt Mikkel existed, but this Nielsen family photo they posted on the alt world Instagram account seems to confirm that. In that, they all look pretty happy compared to other shots we've seen of them, and it looks like Ulrich has been torn out. To me, this hints that Alt Marta will be affected by her parents splitting apart and that Ulrich could literally be out of the picture. One last Katarina thing is that she may actually be the person we saw with the head wrap in the desert. 
This photo was in the behind the scenes photos and was captioned with the question, a new character. I wasn't able to tell who it was. At the time, I really just kind of wrote it off. But after the trailer came out, the debate started back up. The two most popular choices were Katarina or adult Michael. And since it looks like a woman, I believe the people guessing Katarina are correct. Another question I had from the trailer that's been answered definitively is the black notebook we saw on Eve's desk. I didn't remember seeing it, but it turns out this was the book that Bern Doppler gave Claudia with the data about the power plant incident in 1986. Why it's important to Eve and why she has it with the other artifacts is still a mystery. It makes me wonder if those three items are from the prime world and maybe have been brought to her, but we'll have to wait and see. Out of the other new photos they released, there's one of Alt Voller and Alt Charlotte. Voller has no eye injury, but he's missing an arm in the alt world. I guess he can't catch a break anywhere. There's also a shot of Marta outside the school in the yellow raincoat, and this made me think of something I hadn't really talked about in my previous videos. We spent a lot of time wondering about Alt Marta and where she was taking Jonas, and about Eve. Seeing that she wears the yellow raincoat and functions in the same sort of role as Jonas in her world means that we'll likely see her in all the same phases of her development. We were introduced to her as a traveler that can move between worlds. But the version of her in the raincoat probably has no idea about time travel yet. The Alt Marta that saves Jonas from the apocalypse has shorter hair, and at different times we see her with an injury to her face. There may even be a mark on her neck visible in this shot when we see her in the distant past, as was pointed out to me on Twitter. This tells me that this one is like young Jonas after he's been traveling. So, for an example, this shot of Marta running away from the bunker would be in her earlier timeline. She will have experienced all of this stuff before she becomes the person who saved him at the end of season two. I mentioned before that one of the women's voices we hear is likely her at the stranger's age. So we have every reason to believe that her progression to Eve will mirror Jonas's to Adam and we're likely to see a good bit of it. Obviously some of the details will be different. The thing that was confusing to me at first was in the trailer scenes, the alt world hadn't experienced the apocalypse yet. But I guess we might be able to explain that away if the orb machine can travel to any day just like the god particle twin does. It makes sense if it is the most evolved time machine. And I'm guessing that maybe alt Marta that saves him takes him back before the apocalypse happens where he then meets the one in the raincoat. That would line things up with him being there prior to their apocalypse and would free up the older version of her to go back in time where we see her with Sick Mundus. Either way, it seems like we'll be spending more time with Marta, which could mean that we spend less time with other characters. Another photo we see in the new accounts is this photo of an Ouroboros bracelet from 1954. This isn't an artifact I remember seeing previously, but we did see this imagery inside the caves. Hannah is the biggest question mark for this time period, so this may be related to her story. On the account for 2053, this photo of the god particle showed up, which might be interesting. In the trailer, we had several scenes with Adam where it looked like he was activating the black blob as part of his plan. Of course, it looked different than it had in the past, in that instead of stabilizing, it opened up and then spun violently, collapsing on itself. If this photo puts those scenes in 2053, that's interesting in relation to the desert looking scenes we see. To me, it looks like Adam goes into the future after the apocalypse and does something in 2053 that changes the world, making it the desertified landscape we see, putting those scenes in 2086. Which makes sense in that we knew we were probably going to visit 1888 and in turn expand 33 years into the future. The last photo to talk about is this shot from the 2020 page. It's of Peter and Elizabeth post-apocalypse, which isn't surprising since we knew they would survive in the bunker. It could be interesting in relation to the timeline, though. In the Prime world, it looks like we will pick up shortly after the event that happened at the power plant. And that could mean that most of the events across timelines will happen, say, a month or a couple months after June 27th. And for example, that could tell us that Hannah will be in 1954 for a few months, or Katarina will be in 1986 for a few months, or however long is between the event and Peter standing here talking to these people who are responding to the disaster.
One other thing I didn't notice in the trailer that was pointed out was that in the very beginning when we see the explosion in the Conwald house, we don't see the yellow light indicating that Marta is saving Jonas. That would make sense in the alt world since there is no Jonas to save. It happens the other way around, which we've seen Jonas saves alt Marta. The only thing that's kind of interesting about this though is that it seems like everything is kind of mirrored in the backgrounds in the alt world. And we even saw a photo of the Conwald house being mirrored, but in the trailer, they didn't actually change that. So make what you will out of that. And finally, there have been a lot of questions about this infinity symbol and this new mirrored family tree. One of the theories I see brought up a lot is that perhaps Adam and Eve have a child and that their child is the beginning of everything. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me because of the mirrored nature of these branching family trees. In order to make that work, you would have to make it like so that Agnes or her father was actually twins. One went to the one world and one went to the other world. To me, the infinity symbol is likely just a representation of the two timelines splitting. I don't know what that means. I don't really have a great theory about what that is. But as we see in everything that we've seen so far, the people in the alt world are different versions. It's not the same person doing the same thing in two different worlds. So this idea that there's one child or one person who is the start of the split of the timelines doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And really, this whole layout that they showed us in the trailer confuses me more than anything else. I'm curious to see what this whole layout looks like and what it is, but I don't see anything that's solving the mysteries of the dark universe for me by looking at this. And with that, I think I will end this video here. Let me know what you think of the new photos. That was pretty cool how they dropped all those accounts. Let me know if there's anything else I missed from the trailer. Let me know what theories you think are the most interesting. Do you get the same sense that I do that season three will be focused much more on Alt Marta? And what other questions do you have? Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.